So this is Bubba and his crew. They're five weeks old. Um, <clears throat> the little double pack of Spangle up there next to him is Rosalind Remington's chick. And these two little ones down here are his. You see the size of that dilute chick? He is awesome. He's also a little bit older than the other one, so the other one may catch up eventually. Um, the sad news is I have had hawk troubles. I lost four birds to hawks in the big flight cages. Um, two of them got scared around until they panicked so much that they broke their necks, cry crashing into the walls and such. And then two of them actually got caught and killed. Unfortunately, one of the ones that broke its neck was Aphrodite, this guy's mother. Which really bums me out, because these chips are amazing. Aphrodite was my own bred girl. She was Laurel and Scruffy's baby. And she and Bubba here. Bubba's daddy up there. That's daddy up there. And his little foster. Um, they were awesome. So, I'm really kind of bummed. But I got these two beautiful babies out of her. And one more that's fostered down here. This one is little Bubba. I'm not sure what he I can't tell which one's which. There's two holes in there. And I don't know which one's which. But one of them is Bubba's. It's kind of, if I had to take a wild guess, I would say probably this one just by the shape of his head and stuff. He's about a week younger than his brother. So, <clears throat> so. This little guy also got attacked by the hawk. Um, as you can see, he's favoring the leg. It was really bad. I was pretty sure I was gonna, he was gonna die the first several, okay, he's moving some. The first three or four days, I was amazed that he continued to survive because he lost a huge amount of blood. You can see the, a big blood clot above his eye there. Well, his major injury was, and there was just blood everywhere, and he was like an empty little shell. But, um, he, uh, he persisted, put him on antibiotics to treat for infection in the wounds, and although he's a long way from normal, he's persistent. He doesn't use that one foot. I'm assuming he has a broken leg or cracked pelvis or something from being grabbed by a hawk. Um, <clears throat> but he's starting to act convincingly like he will live. So, his name is officially Bear Grylls. And, um, uh, I'm just amazed that he made it. Um, but I'm pretty sure we, he's going to persist. So, so that's that.